Hi there, my name is Isaac Oster, and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about saving. That's a, a couple little things to keep in mind. I'm just going to go ahead and create a piece of geometry here. Go to Edit, and make it a Polymesh 3D. So there are two ways that I can save this. I can either save the tool. Now what is the tool? The tool is all of the different pieces of geometry that I may have as sub-tools. So if you've got a complicated model, it's much easier to sculpt, say, like a backpack out of multiple different pieces rather than trying to do the whole thing out of a, a single piece of geometry. You go crazy. So all of those pieces are going to be different sub-tools, different flaps and straps and buckles and whatever. And each one of them can have multiple subdivisions. So I can go ahead and divide this guy. And let's just go ahead and append another piece of geometry over here. And I'll just scoot him out of the way a little bit. So here I have these two sub-tools. Together, they equal one tool. And you can see here, there's that little two there that indicates how many sub-tools there are. So when I save as from the tool menu, what I'm saving is a ZTL file that stands for ZTool. So I'm just going to go ahead and save my ZTool. And when I load it back in, I just need to come over here and click Load Tool. So let me go ahead and clear this off and load tool, find test, hit open. It adds it to my tool menu here. I can just draw it out and then I hit edit and I'm ready to go and I have all of my subdivisions locked in there. In addition, I get any poly painting that I may have, which is essentially just a vert color. So the, the subdivisions and the vert color get saved when you do a save as. The next option is File Save As. And when you do a File Save As, what you get is a ZPR file. What a ZPR file is, this stands for Z Project. Much more information gets stored in a Z Project. All of the materials, all of the brushes, all of the subtools, I mean, all the tools, all of the subtools, all of the subdivisions of all the subtools, all the vert painting plus any camera movements and uh, you know alphas, everything. Every resource that you could possibly have for a project gets saved. So the files tend to be much, much larger. Uh, when you just have a couple pieces, it's no big deal. So if you're just starting off, it really doesn't make that much difference. But as you get into more complicated files, the, the sizes can become prohibitively large. Also, I think it may be a default setting that it when you save your, uh, your ZPR, it actually saves all of the undos for each of your subtools. So, I mean, very easily you get to you know file sizes that are in the gigabytes for just a, a simple stuff. So, I don't recommend that as your primary saving process unless you really want to have all that information stored. Tool, save as, and load tool. Those are those are what I use 99% of the time. When you have a lot of stuff going on, it's not unusual for ZBrush to crash. So when it crashes, you can look up here and it'll usually say file saved or something and let you know that it's saved or you know there's a recoverable file that it's saved. So where does that live? What you want to do is you, you go to load tool when you reopen ZBrush and it'll automatically open you up to the Z tools menu. What you want to do is go to or Z, Z tools folder. You want to go to the next uh, folder up the ZBrush 4R6 or whatever version you have and look for recovered files. There is where your recovered tool will live. So I gotta do load tool, click one up, recovered files, and there's only ever gonna be one recovered tool in there, so uh, it'll overwrite it usually. The other thing that it does to protect your files, if I hit the comma button to bring up Lightbox, if I go to quick save, every if I leave ZBrush alone for a minute, it'll do a quick save. And if I think it's every 20 minutes by default, uh, or the setting that I have, it'll do a quick save. And it, the quick saves are all ZPRs. So these are the big files, Z projects. And it'll save 10 of them, and then start overwriting that file again. So worst case scenario, if ZBrush has a hard crash and doesn't have time to do a recovered file Z tool, you can usually come and find your ZPR sitting over here and it's not too old so you haven't lost too much work. So to get back there it's going to be the comma button, quick save, and there are your files. So a quick recap 
This is your best option for file sizes. If you have a crash, you can go to Load Tool, ZBrush 4R6, and look for the recovered files. And if your recovered file isn't the latest file, you can hit the comma button, go to Quick Save, and then find whichever. It's usually going to be the last one is the latest. And hopefully, you will not have lost too much work. But the best solution is be aggressive about saving, because ZBrush is treacherous and it will definitely crash.